So on the subject of hell, this is one of the most important things we can emphasize. Jesus spoke of hell as a literal place, describing it in graphic terms. For instance, in Matthew 10, 28, he said, do not be afraid of those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul. Rather, be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Now, some people have misinterpreted that as, well, the one who can destroy both soul and body in hell is Satan. No, no, no. That's not t- Satan doesn't have that power. And by the way, the uh, portrayal of hell uh, the popular portrayal of hell is, is sometimes as off base as the popular portrayal of heaven. For instance, the old Far Side cartoons, uh, Gary Larson, this is very, very common, where you'd have hell where the demons are getting great pleasure out of torturing, punishing human beings. The Bible gives no picture whatsoever of demons torturing people in hell. In fact, hell was created for the devil and his angels to be punished in. Not to be the punishers, but to be punished. And then, tragically, uh, people also end up in hell. But Satan and the demons are not getting any pleasure in hell, much less pleasure out of torturing people. That is simply an unbiblical concept but a common one, even among Christians. 